The IPS controllers compare the readings received from the pH and the ORP sensors to the set levels programmed for pH, ORP1, and ORP2. If the readings are too high or too low, the controller will automatically turn on the chemical feed devices for the length of time that has been programmed for the dose time. The other settings are used to fine-tune the delivery of chemicals. The controller will also prevent chemical overdosing and underdosing. Test the controller operation by opening the input and output valves on the flow cell and turning on the pool pump. Water should fill the flow cell. The flow switch is pre-wired to the controller. The flow switch must remain installed to prevent dosing chemicals when there is no flow in the circulation plumbing. Verify that there is a flow of water by opening the center sample port and observing a steady stream of water. Close the sample port valve. Observe that the float on the flow switch has risen to the top of the flow switch. The green flow LED should be illuminated. Water should pass over the pH and ORP sensors to allow for accurate readings from the pool or spa. Make sure there are no leaks in the system. Using a DPD test kit, open the valve on the center port and test the water. Manually adjust the water in the pool to the desired pH and sanitizer levels. Note for the best results, the cyanuric acid levels should not exceed 30 parts per million. Estimate the amount of water in your pool. Multiply the length by the width by the average depth. Then multiply the result by 7.48 to get the number of gallons in your pool. The IPS controller controls the amount of chemical that is dosed by regulating the amount of time a chemical pump remains energized. The dose time function should be set according to the size of your pool, the size of your chemical pumps, and your anticipated bather load. In a 1500 gallon spa, the pH set level may be at 7.4. The dose time may be at 30 seconds to maintain the 7.4 set level. However, a 50,000 gallon pool may need a 120 second dose time to maintain the 7.4 pH level. In the ORP mode, the set level and dose time are dependent on the same pool parameters as in the pH mode. The different modes are accessed by pressing and releasing the Mode button. The LED light for each mode will illuminate as you cycle from Auto, pH, ORP1, ORP2, and Temp, then back to Auto. The function buttons are Set Level, Dose Time, Delay Time, Overtimer, High Alert, Low Alert, and pH Cal. The Up and Down buttons are used to set the values you choose. Choices made in the pH or ORP modes are automatically saved. The controller must be sent back to the auto mode to display current readings and operations. The auto mode is the normal operational mode. The controller allows full operation and monitoring of both the pH and ORP levels. However, no function buttons are operational. Using the mode button, cycle to the pH mode. All auto functions will be disabled. In the pH mode, when a function button is pressed, a value will appear in the pH digital display window. Level, time, and alerts can be adjusted by pressing the appropriate function button. Press the set level button. Then, using the up or down buttons, choose the desired target pH level. Use your pool capacity calculations to determine the dose time. Press the dose time button. Select a time dose of up to 900 seconds on. It is recommended to start with a low dose time and gradually move up to a longer dose if the pH set level has not been reached. It is possible to select a continuous dose time but it is not recommended for pH. In the delay time function, if you have chosen a timed feed, the default is a delay time of 5 minutes between feed cycles. 
The selectable range of delay is between 1 and 99 minutes between feed cycles. After the dose time has been reached, the controller will de-energize the pH output for the selected number of minutes before checking the current level and dosing again if necessary. The overtimer is a safety mechanism. Press the overtimer button to display the current settings. The default setting is 60 cycles. The overtimer counts the number of cycles that the controller is allowed to dose and delay in order to reach the pH and ORP set levels. If the controller reaches the set levels, the overtimer resets and normal operation continues. If the set levels are not reached in your chosen number of cycles, the timer will de-energize the chemical relays. At this point, the digital readouts for the pH or ORP will start flashing. The overtimer will prevent the controller from running any more cycles until the entire system has been reset. To reset the system, press the Mode button to cycle through Auto, pH, ORP1, ORP2, and Temp, then back to Auto. Do not turn off the overtimer. The high alert tells you that your pH has risen to or above the high alert selected level. The low alert tells you that the pH has reached or dipped below the low alert selected level. Because pH affects ORP levels, these alert settings create a safe pH range that prevents over sanitizing. If the pH level strays outside of the pH range settings for 10 minutes, an alert will be triggered and dose outputs will be disabled. The alert will automatically turn off if the pH reading returns within limits for one continuous minute. The pH Cal button should be used sparingly. If the pH controller and sensors show a reading within two points of your manual test with a DPD test kit, the calibration should be left alone. Prior to setting this calibration, any previous calibration should be cleared. To clear previous calibrations, hold the Mode button for two seconds and the digital displays will read off. Release the Mode button, then press and hold the pH Cal button while again holding the Mode button until the controller turns on. Release both buttons, then again press the Mode button to cycle to Auto and the digital display will show the reading without calibration. Prior to establishing an ORP set level, the pH and sanitizer PPM must be balanced at or near the desired pH and PPM by manually adjusting the pool water. After the water is balanced, with the controller in auto mode, read the number displayed in the ORP digital display. This number will be the target value for your ORP set level. Press the Mode button until the ORP1 LED is illuminated. The controller is now in the ORP standby mode and all auto functions are disabled. Press the Set Level button and if the number displayed is the desired ORP level, move to the next function. If the displayed number is different from the desired level, use the up or down buttons to adjust the ORP set level to the desired set level target. If a future manual water test shows a PPM reading that is lower than desired, increase the ORP set level by from 5 to 10 millivolts. If the ORP reading is too high, lower the set level. Press the dose time button and using the up or down buttons, set the dose time to off, continuous, or timed up to 900 seconds on. To avoid overdosing, start with a lower dose time and adjust up to maintain the set level. The delay time is how long the controller waits between dose time cycles. The delay time function in the ORP mode is the same as in the pH mode. Again, the 5 minute delay should be sufficient. The overtimer functions in the ORP mode are the same as in the pH mode. The overtimer is a safety mechanism. Do not turn the overtimer off.
The high alert and low alert in the ORP mode operate the same as in the pH mode. The high alert protects the system from over-sanitizing by disabling the ORP output. A high alert tells you that your ORP has risen above the high alert level set by you. The default level is 900 millivolts, and the range can be set from between 650 millivolts and 900 millivolts. The low alert monitors the minimum ORP levels. The selectable range for a low alert is off and between 100 and 880 millivolts. However, the low alert setting cannot exceed 20 millivolts less than the set level. The pH cal button is disabled in the ORP mode. The ORP2 mode allows a second ORP pump to be added to the system. The additional pump supplements the sanitizer feed if the ORP1 cannot maintain the correct ORP level. This can occur with an extremely high bather load, especially in the case of a salt system. Salt systems need extra time to recover to the correct ORP level. The ORP2 pump runs in conjunction with the ORP1 pump. The ORP2 set level cannot exceed 10 millivolts less than the set level of the ORP1. The ORP2 functions operate the same way as the ORP1. However, the high and low alerts are determined by the ORP1 settings. If the temperature sensor is installed, the water temperature will be displayed in the digital display window. Press and release the Mode button and cycle through to the Temp mode. Using the Up or Down buttons, the temperature can be calibrated up or down by 10 degrees. The reading can be changed from Fahrenheit to Celsius by pressing the pH Cal button. You can manually force the controller to run a dose cycle in the pH, ORP1, and ORP2 modes if the mode is in a timed feed setting. Hold down the Dose Time button and then press the Delay Time button. The controller will dose for the time set in the Dose Time setting. As a final point, the Reset button does not refer to the modes or functions of the controller. It affects the Ethernet or Wi-Fi connections. If the Internet connection has been lost, it forces the controller to attempt to reconnect to the server. If you have questions about the operation of an IPS controller, please connect with us via these contacts.